Hello everyone, today I will be showing you the very basics of using constraints, particularly hinge constraints. A hinge constraint enables movement on solely one rotational axis. Before we can begin placing constraints, we need parts to move, so we are making the base of the door which is going to be red, and the door itself which is brown, and made to look like wood. For you to get a better idea of the implementation, the red base block will normally be invisible, and have can collide set to false. After making the base, and the door, we must place an attachment within them. The original rotation isn't essential, until we place the hinge constraint. Once we have both attachments in the position we want, we create a hinge constraint and set its attachment 0 property and attachment 1 property to the newly created constraints. To emphasize the directionality of the attachment, I put on its front face a random decal. As you can see, the door rotates in the direction of the hinge constraint. However, the door can be improved by adding a desire to return to its original position, as if a spring was returning it. This can be done using a servo motor type in the hinge constraint settings. The servo in this case is best set to have high responsiveness, a small torque around 40 and a small velocity around 0.5. Torque is a measure of rotational force. If the door writes itself with too much rotational force, the player will not be able to push it. If the door has too high of a speed, it will overshoot its original position and wobble indefinitely back and forth besides the door and the servo motor type. There is the regular motor, motor type, which applies a constant force in one rotational direction. This can be used to make ceiling lamps and fans. The spinning effect for helicopter blades or obstacles to obstruct players. And as you can see, it has full interaction with the environment. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more of this type of video, please subscribe, like the video, and comment below. If you would like to read more about programming, please visit my website in the description below.